what do you get when you take poly tubing and some keychains? It's a way to put your PVC projects together without having them fall apart and without having to use glue. This and more. Stay tuned on Mechanical Mashup. So why would you want to build something that would pin things together? Well, first of all is, is if you build something like this, this camera dolly, part of the problem is it doesn't fit into a duffel bag all that well. And that can be a bit of a problem, especially if you want to be mobile. So you want to make it so you can take it apart. Now I did that with this guy. Problem is, is that now that I use it and occasionally I'll like not put it together properly, I'll have it on the floor, I'll pick it up and then lose pieces. It's not cool. So you want to put something that will pin this together and that's what this project's all about. Keep in mind that you could use this in the camera stabilizer project, the shoulder mount project that we have. Um, you have a multitude of other PVC projects and a few more coming up for light stands and whatnot with me and you know basically what it comes down to is that this little pin is an incredible little prototyping tool that I use all the time and I honestly don't think I could live without it. So without further ado, check out how the build goes. So what you're going to need for this project is some quarter inch poly tubing. You can get that at Home Depot or pretty much any other hardware store. Some keychains. I got this at Staples and you can get it at a lot of different hardware stores and uh, stationery stores. Next you'll need a drill, a utility knife or a little X-Acto knife, pencil sharpener and a couple of drill bits. Here we've got a 16th and this is a 3 16th inch drill bit. Now this is so simple it's disgusting. So. What we're going to do here is, I'm just going to take that off to the side so that everybody can see. We'll just take this label off here. Now what you want is a pin that sticks about that far into PVC. And you add, I don't know, about that much to it just to get the length that you want. And you cut that little guy off. At this point, what I recommend you do is put your 8th inch or 16th inch drill bit into your drill and Take it and just drill a little tiny hole on the edge of this little pin that you've just made. So go like this, you get it all the way through, and that part is done. Now, next thing you got to do is take one of your keychains and hook it in here. Now, all this keychain is doing is just giving you a little tab so that you can pull it out. This makes your projects disassemblable, if that is a word. Next thing I like to do is, is that the tip of this can sometimes get stuck in the hole. So I just kind of run it through a pencil sharpener really quick just to get a little tiny taper in it. So we've got a little taper in it. The last step and what we're doing here is just making it into a little tiny spring pin. Is that we're going to take a slice right down the center all the way along its length. Just like that. And so what we can do here now is that we can pinch the tube and squeeze it together. And it makes a nice tight little spring pin. Last and final step, really simple. Get a drill bit that is slightly smaller in diameter than your quarter inch tubing. And you throw it into your drill, just like this. Now, any connections that you have for your PVC tubing, what you can do is you choose whether you want it to come in straight in here through the top, it all depends. That's all kind of your judgment. Make sure that you have your PVC fitted and fit right down into the fitting as far as it could possibly go and drill a hole. All you have to do at this point is you take that little spring pin and you can stuff it down into your into your PVC. Now you can get rid of this little tag, it does make noise, but for the most part that's locked down and nice and tight. Problems I was having the other day, you can see right here this just fell off. It was kind of a pain in the butt. So there are some connections where I want to rotate it. You could do one of two things. One is to do different keyed areas. So you could do one pin there, one pin there, one pin there, one pin there. Just re-drill the hole through this. Or you can just make it fixed. 
and it's just a great way to lock everything down. So hopefully that helps you out and gets you going on your make work projects. Thank you for watching and do me a favor, share this on Facebook, on Twitter, on Google+, on any sort of social media site that you have. It would really help us out. Another thing I'd like to ask anybody is, if I made these up and made packages of them, would you buy them and could I send them to you? I'm kind of curious if there's a little bit of a business in this. If you're too lazy to make these little pins, maybe you can get me to make them for you and put them in a bag and send them off to you. I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah!